Hello, Monsters Band here. Welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 and part 4 of my Katarin. It's Katarin, isn't it? Kat it's, oh, I've been on all day for a week, so I don't know what's going on. I'm knackered as well. Why is I always. Like, aren't holidays supposed to be. like, relaxing? Because whenever I come out of holiday, I'm always more tired than I go in. But maybe that's just because I'm a bit of an introvert and I don't. You know, ideally, I wouldn't leave the house. A holiday for me would be a, would be some days where I just get to play video games. That's that's my holiday. You know, for some people, they want to jet set. They want to go to South America. I'm thinking because I'm in the UK here and South America's a long way away. And they want to go climb mountains or some shit. And to me, that is the worst thing I can think of. It's hot. It's sticky. There's mountains to climb. None of that seems attractive to me whatsoever. Sitting indoors, playing video games, on the other hand, yes. Abs and I, I realise for the people that want to go to South America and climb mountains, the idea of just sitting at home and playing video games is that would like send them loopy. But pff, I thought, I'm exhausted now. I need a holiday to get over my holiday. Uh, what's going on? Right. We've got a throt problem. What's the garrison like here? Um, actually, not as bad as I thought. So that's oh, yeah. something. Doing a little bit of recruitment over there. That's exciting. Uh, we've got... So, do I, I need more supporters, don't I? That's only one support. It doesn't generate any more supporters. This does generate two... Okay, so we could upgrade to this one. The Orthodox Chapel, couldn't we? That's an option. Um, it's going it, to... I mean, we're going we're gonna to have a lot of patriarchs. Like a lot of... A lot of... A lot of priesty boys, so that's fun. This is going to give us more growth and control. That seems like a good idea. We do have a Skaven issue, so we need, do need to deal with that one, um, ideally, you know, sooner rather than later. But we'll worry about that in a second. I'd forgotten, but I need to do some names, don't I? I'd forgotten about names. It's been a while. Um, do, are there any names? Hang on. S not Well, not many. Not many. Uh, you're going to attack me, are you? Well, it, it could. Is it worth defending it? Is it worth Is it worth trying? It's a lot of ratty boys, isn't it? I mean, a lot of them are slaves, though, so... You know what? Worth a punt, isn't it? I mean, we knew it would happen. They were going to attack, and they have. But how much damage can we do? I'm not going to even... I mean, just getting overwhelmed by the rats would be a bad move. So we're going to hole up here in the sort of like the best defensive position we can. Plus, it's around the, the key building here, and we're going to basically... Secure 2,000 resources and build a big old magic tower there, which is hopefully going to do some big damage. And of course, we've got lots of archers, which helps. They do have reinforcements. They are arriving now. Here they come. It's that mute Myrta, the experimenter. There he is. What's this? Momentum. Oh, yes. I don't actually know what momentum does. Like, why is it there? What does it do? How do I get it? It ticks up, but I don't know why. I don't know. It's just not explained. It's just a thing. It's a thing that happens, so no one explains why, which I guess is fine. First wave of clan rats. Getting shot pieces. Will they reach our lines? Oh, oh, no, 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 they run away. Laters, boys. Don't come back. I mean, they will. 
Already a second wave. Skaven slaves this time getting, I mean, basically soaping, soaking up all the ammunition. They do outnumber us quite significantly. 600, well, 481 to 4,364. That is a significant difference. I'm sure we'll be fine. We have our tower up. Ooh, yes. If we can shoot into some big blobs with that, that's going to do a lot of damage. Yeah, taking big chunks out of that unit, which is exactly what we need. Although some rat ogres now being summoned in by throts. Oh, look at these big burly boys. We're going to struggle against them. Uh, fortunately, they are big, and so we can probably shoot them in the head with arrows. Maybe. Plus those towers, of course, will be taking a toll as well. Looking at numbers. I mean, we're killing them very rapidly. They are going down very rapidly, but um, of course there's a, there's a lot of lot of Skaven to chunk our way through. If we had a garrison here, I feel like maybe we could do it. With that said, Thross himself is a nasty customer. Does he have regeneration? No. Oh yes, he does, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. He's got regeneration. This is the master controller. Got physical resistance, missile resistance. So uh, he's a he's a tough customer. I don't think we're going to be able to take him down. However, his rat ogres have been sent scurrying back from whence they came. They won't be back. We're, we're, we're taking a toll. We've killed almost a thousand rats. I think we have to remember is this is just our garrison. This is just a bog standard level two garrison. Because they have very strong garrisons. Other factions, not so much. I, I assume that the other factions are going to get like a pass. Because like the Empire garrison is like three swordsmen and two spearmen, I think, which is not really a very good garrison. The Kosovite dervishes reinforcing the armoured Kossars with great weapons. Trying to hold them back a little bit more. We're trying to get some shots in here. We do, we do, you know, we're taking some, taking some chunks out of the Skaven. And our boys... 32 melee attack, 43 melee defense, 32 weapon strength. They're not bad. That 80 armor, you know, pretty good. What's that? Uh, no, that one. Intensity 80%. Is it to do. Is, is it like taking these? Is that what it does? Because they've got four, 80%. That would make sense, right? So each one of those victory conditions that you get, you get 20% intensity. Is that right? Makes sense, I guess. Alright, they're starting to break through. Not ideal. Although we have killed like 1,300 of the buggers. Ooh, big chunks being taken. If we had like three of these towers, this battle would, would be going only one way. They're down to under 3,000. And we're down to 300, so, you know, 10 to 1 numbers? It's, it's not it's not looking great for us. They have managed to break through. I mean, we managed to use a vast majority of ammunition. Nine shots left there, five there. Throat is down to about 50% health. And, of course, our second army is is just around the corner. So if Throt takes this settlement, then he's about to have a very bad day. 
But unfortunately, it looks like we've lost this battle. At least we took a lot of rats with us. Well, I think killing... I mean, I know it was mostly clan rats, but that, that force is much depleted. So I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about that. I'm feeling pretty happy. Not so mysterious. Benefactor, anxious that he will not be remembered after his impending demise. A geriatric and widely loathed Boyar offers to pay for a much needed renovations to Erengrad. In return, we must erect a, a towering marble statue of his sneering image. We will, of course, topple the eyesore once he is in the ground. So we can get money for five turns, or... I've long consigned Bretonian artisans to one of the most forlorn areas of the city, but they do know a thing or two about steel. Hmm. How much money are we making from trade? Probably not very much. Well, actually, no. I mean, maybe we are. Ah, let's do that. Let's do that. Oh, a banner of Prague. What does that do? Immune to psychology if hit points are less than 50%. Well, that is... That, that is... That, mm, that's a thing, isn't it? That's a thing. Right, you guys. Are you going to fight me or are you going to run? I didn't think you might run. And you have legged it back there. That's fine. That's fine. We can fend them off. That's not going to be an issue. Right, now... Let us go take Yeetich. Yeetich? Yeetich? Yeetich is Pyrrhic victory? Really? I don't think it's going to be that bad. Am I going to have to fight this? I feel like I'm going to, have to, I'm going to have to fight this. Don't worry, Catherine. We will win because we have something. That the Marauders don't. A massive missile weapon advantage. I mean, it's just Pyrrhic victory, really. Because I guarantee they're not going to come out of the settlement. And uh, I'm, I'm not going to join them. But first, let's drop some seagulls on them. Angry seagulls. That's right. Kids left basically the West Country. We've got everyone's packing. And fucking seagulls attacking and killing everyone in sight. I fucking hate seagulls. They're literally the worst thing in the world. They're flying rats. You can see all the holiday makers coming down going, Oh, aren't they lovely? Let's feed them. No, you fucking idiots. They're flying rats. Leave them alone. They'll start attacking people and eating their pasties. It's a... F oh. And there was you thinking that this was based on, like, you know, Russia and shit. Nope. It's the West Country. Trust me. Yep. Here we go. Right. The Marauders are having a bad time. They do have a little piddly tower there. It's, like, plinking away at us. I'm not particularly... I, people seem to lose their shit about these towers, to which I'm like, you don't have to worry about them. They're fine. Like, if I could be bothered, I'd target it, but I genuinely can't be asked because it's not going to really do that much damage. I would much rather take out these marauders. So they're currently just milling about. They're not... It's like they're not quite shot. There we go. I was just taking the tower down because I felt like, well, it's the only thing I could shoot at, so may as well. But these boys, are oh, they don't want to... They don't want to leave the front gate undefended so they're just going to keep coming back yep and it's not working out very well for them is it nope the ground is currently littered with bodies and arrows okay well so far so good looking at numbers here uh yeah we've, we've killed about i'll say roughly about half of them give or take Rough estimate. I do, of course, have these Norskan Ice Trolls, which are quite not... What was not meant to be? You're getting filled with fucking arrows? Trust me, that was very much meant to fucking be. These Norse, look at them waddle down here. What are they going to do, eh? Going to get shot with arrows. That's basically what, what's going to happen there. Are they in range? Y yes. 
We're just we're just moving up a little bit. Splitting our forces. And the North Sky Trolls are yep, getting pincushioned. Ooh, I mean not losing as much health as I would have thought, but Oh well, that's that's more like it. There we go. That's big chunks of health now disappearing. And they're not very happy about it. Now they might decide to come through the wall, and if they do, then we have uh, Father Ted waiting to take them on. It, it didn't need to though, because it looks like they're all basically dead. Okay, well that's, I mean, so far so good. Yeah, they're not quite sure what to do, are they? It's like, on one hand, yes, we need to protect the, the front of the settlement. On the other hand, getting shot to pieces with arrows. Um, I mean, personally, I just charge. It wouldn't do you much good, but that's probably, you know, getting over it. Get, just get over and done with. You know, quickly die, rather than draw it out. Tower's being reconstructed, but once the tower's being constructed... You can, if it's then reconstructed, you can then shoot at it. So it's got 20 seconds. I could take this down. I think I, I think I do. Do I get some of you boys to shoot at it? Maybe. Towers are very easy to take down. It's not. It's not gonna. It's, yeah, there we go. See, I'm just I'm just shooting it. Before, it's, it's gonna it's gonna die before it's even finished. Nine, eight. But there, it's down. It's dead. There we go. So there's not much left. Uh, they've only got 500 boys. I've lost less than 100. They're trying to build that tower again. Uh, Father Ted's just knocked his way through a barricade just in case we want to enter the settlement. We will enter the settlement, just push forward a little bit. We don't need to, but, you know, I don't want to hang about. Push further into the settlement and then basically shoot. I mean, I mean all that I have left is marauders with great weapons, really. They have great weapons over here as well. Yeah, great. I mean, the thing about the great weapons is they're basically marauders with less missile resistance. So, I mean, that, that's not going to work out very well. I mean, even, the guys with missile resistance died really quickly. The guys carrying the big two-hand axes, not, it's, it's, it's not, yeah. So, Pyrrhic Victory. Um, I, no, but I don't think it is, yeah, I don't think it is a Pyrrhic Victory. I think it's going to be a, a fairly decisive victory for me. Oh, look, it wasn't Pyrrhic. The motherland grows. Vic <sighs> oh, a hedge wizard. Um, good. Good. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you know, don't get me wrong. I realise that, you know, fighting a battle is always going to be more efficient than water absorbing. Fair enough. However, there is obviously a problem with Warhammer 3, um, which does need to be resolved. Because I'm going to give... I'm going to catch her in a bear. Because... There have been several instances where I've had, like, for example, my Kugath campaign. There was an instance there where I had a full stack of very like, elite units and trying to auto resolve against not even a Kislev settlement with a garrison, just a, a rank three Kislev settlement, told me I was going to lose. Anyway, let's buff the seagulls. There's nothing more terrifying than seagulls, trust me. These guys are fucking assholes. Nothing worse than fucking seagulls. Uh, a little bit of extra replenishment, right? That'll be fine. And, um, anything that's going to give me more supporters, basically. More supporters and uh, more devotion would be good, actually, because that's looking a little bit ropey. Just a tad. It's fine. Don't panic. But obviously, you know, just be aware. Be aware. Um, now, I could... I could get another... Do we do this? I could do it. Shall I do it? I think I'm going to do it. Uh, let's get an ice. Let's get an ice lady. We'll do that. We'll get an ice lady. We'll get an ice lady going on. I kind of want to get this extra growth. But we won't do anything with it anyway. So, maybe it's just good to get it. I'm not... Fuck it. We'll, we'll do it. We'll do it. Worst case, uh, 
everyone dies. And you're supposed to go in that army and I've forgotten to do anything with you. Oh, okay. Well, that's slightly problematic. Oh, you really? Pyrrhic victory? Medium casualties against that lot. With the, with the. Uh, oh, okay. It's a bunch of pathetic rodents. How bad could it be? They started to use some menace from below on us, but. Yep, wiping that out pretty easily. Let's be a little bit careful here because, of course, our Cossars need line of sight to shoot. They do have a couple of assassins. A couple of assassins, but uh, that's fine. And they're going to keep using Menace from below on us because that's apparently the thing that they do. So pulling the armoured Kossars back a little bit gives us a little bit more shooting room. It's going to be just at the top of that hill, which is absolutely fine. Sort of, uh, they've got mostly clan rats, a few Skaven Slave Slingers. But otherwise, we should be fine. When using our Kossavite Dervishes just to run down those Menace from Below units. And we're going to send... Anna, Nikodoka Glory. Did I really? Ne really? Is that, is that why I did? Okay, sure. And uh, Trove, Trove, Trofim. Tro tro yeah, that guy. Gonna send him over to that flank just to hold that. Have to be a little bit careful about assassins because that's, you know, basically their job is to assassinate people. Cosovite Dervish. Yeah, they're, they're, see, they're breaking even before the Cosovite Dervishes arrive. And as long as they don't have warp bomb, and they don't, we should be fine. They do, though, have warp lightning, and ow, mother, fuck, God, that spells good, ludicrously good. Okay, here we go. Lots of arrow fire coming in. Plus, of course, the armored cossars. Oh, so much damage. Still. Some of the scurrying little buggers will be able to reach us. But that's fine. Ow! As long as they stop shooting me with fucking warp lightning. Dicks. Ugh. Okay, over here we do have an assassin currently trying to kill Anna. Oh, no, where is the little... Sh where is oh, there he is. So we're going to bring the dervishes over to sort of like render some assistance. The Kossars should be able to fend off clan rats. And then as soon as we get any space between us and the Skaven, of course we can bring our bows to bear. And I think that the armoured Kossars should be able to deal with a Skaven unit no problem. Although the Assassin is probably going to cause them some issues. He's taking a bit of damage, but he's also dishing it out quite, quite effectively. More menace from below. Jesus, how much? Did, how many of them do they have? Good grief! I've brought in T Trofim to help out with Ronin, and the Kossavite dervishes have turned up as well. These Gaming slaves are massively outnumbered. They're in a bad time. Our assassin's doing a number on us, though. No, oh, fucking! What? Can someone please kill that wizard? Okay, we're going to concentrate all fire on this little blob in the centre here. If we can break that, then hopefully the rest of the army will run. And looking at the numbers here, we can see that uh, they're, lose they're losing numbers very, very quickly. More menace from below. Jesus. I, I genuinely have lost count of how many fucking units of menace from below they've used. It must be six. Five or six minimum. Oh, oh, Trophim, be careful. Careful. All right, the assassin has lost his cover now. So, Trophim, you're all right, buddy. He's fine. 
that assassin is. He's still going for it, isn't he? I'm, I'm going to try and pick him off with missile fire because he's just, he's just being a little shit. Okay, now we've got some distance between that. As long as they run away, that's fine. There we go. Ra mass route seems to be occurring. Slicing is now getting more kills. Bloody great seared. I mean, the um, the uh, this this one is what's this one? Ruin? No, ruins the other. Is it? Ru oh, it is this ruin? Ruin, and the other one is plague, isn't it? The plague one's not so bad because it's just a plague breath, but the ruin has the warp lightning, and that's just ugh, just the worst. Right? Can we just fill in full of arrows, please? Please? So, maybe not that guy. That guy. That no. Okay. Is he running away? He's killed seventy-three people. He's hiding in the midst of some cossars. Just get out the way. Go out the way, guys. Go, go out the way. Go out, out the way. Get out. Go on. Yep. Yep. Okay. D okay, good. Now, can we shoot him with arrows, please? All of the arrows. There we go. Ah, oh, that's better. You know what? Fair play. That was harder than I thought it would be. So, uh, there we go. Going to take the. I think the replenishment. Those guys are dead. A bunch of those guys are dead. That's good. We've got a veteran warrior. Sure. A bailiff. Why not? You're ready for duty. Okay. Now you're. Mm. Now. If I. Where are you going? I don't really trust you. Tell you what, if we repair those, and then you s scamper on down here, do a little ambushette, we'll bring you over here to that. Although there's already someone replenishing, you're just kind of there to, I don't know, pep up morale? Something like that. Let's give you more melee defense. And you can have a little Urson's Roar. You can have a little replenishment. There we go. So we've got the ambush going on there. That's good. We can then move in and attack this one. Oh, this one's actually got... This one's actually got a little garrison there. I say a little garrison, a little army. A little army that we're going to have to stamp on. Hmm. Okay, we've got a banner of Prague. Sure. That. Them. That'll do it. As before, we only advance into the city if we absolutely have to. Otherwise, we do as much damage as we can at range. And once they are significantly weakened, then we'll push in. Looking at numbers, though, we're pretty even. Or at least they, were sli they had slightly more than we did, and now they don't. a little bit more. Of course, got our Cossars in the front there, and then we've got the Ice Guard behind, because the Ice Guard have slightly more range. So if they're behind, they're protected, but also they can basically shoot as far. Now, they do have a couple of... I've got a unit of Javelins there, and Javelins there, and Axe Throwers there, so they can return fire, but obviously at very short ranges. So we just have to make sure we pick them off first. But we are going to advance slightly with our armoured Cossars. Some more champions pulling back there. Some more spearmen taking some a lot of fire in the back. I mean, if I was... if Now, if I was in the position of the AI here, what would I do? Well, to be honest, I'd probably charge. Because I'd probably try and flank them, pull them into the city, get some flanking units in, and then try and trap them. If you can do that, 
then they're missing because if you can get these guys into melee combat they're not going to survive as well the marauders are definitely far superior melee combatants so get them to melee combat and that's where you can win but of course the ai is not that bright so what they're going to do is basically just sit there and uh, take it So splitting our force into two. We've got a small sort of expeditionary force trying to push up this long pathway. We are going to get some skin walls now charging down the path though, straight into the armoured Cossars. And we're going to get bombed by Searing Doom. So we're going to drop a Death Frost. Is it Death Frost? Heart of Winter. Heart of Winter. We're going to drop a Heart of Winter on them. Now they are going to pull out of that. It looks like they don't want to sort of like get drawn into it, but that's fine because that's going to keep them armed reach from us and then we can pick them off at range. So actually, that's that's okay by me. Meanwhile, over here, more units feed themselves into the meat grinder. Picking off the ice trolls there, the skin walls. Ran into the heart of winter. That didn't work out very well for them. And they are now retreating back from whence they came. Didn't actually lose many members of the unit. And they do have regeneration. Advance further up. Probably could have taken out that tower. And we also have to be careful of these javelins here. They will start lobbing javelins into our flank. Fortunately, the ice guard have spotted them. Now, Katarin can make Ice Guard cheaper than the, the Kossars. So it's well worth... Because, I mean, the Kossars are great, but the Ice Guard are definitely better. So at some point, we're just going to want to swap out all of our Kossars just for Ice Guard. More Seagulls coming out to eat the Marauders there. Thank you, Bjork. Where is Bjork? Bjork. Oh, uh, no. Oh, there you are. 32, 33, 34. Th Not bad kills. Setting the seagulls on them. And Katarin with only one kill. Charging into the Marauder Champions there. And apparently they have no interest in taking on a bear. So they just start walking away. They just, they just, they just, they just kind of ignore her. And just then head, head off. Um, however, Katarin is like absolutely just murdered her way through him. She actually has, like, her melee attack and melee defense are very good. And that 440 weapon strength is actually pretty impressive. Um, she's actually pretty scary on a bear. And those marauders are getting fucking wrecked. So, so she's nobbing her way through all of those marauders. We're now pushing up. And here comes some more skin walls tearing their way down the hill there. Ooh, that's a lot of... Oh, those boys are flying. Are they okay? They are okay. They're picking themselves back up. That's good. They still with those skin walls, and there's a lot of marauders now coming down the hill. Skin walls are coming to mass missile fire. Meanwhile, the marauder champions still just running away. From Catherine. They just do not want to. They don't want to deal with the bear. So she's just nomming them from behind. And they're just slowly losing members of the unit, which is, is fine. And uh, that means the other, rest of our boys can now advance up the hill. Come around behind the settlement. Oh, armored Cossars are getting torn to pieces in that mess. We do have Father Ted's fighting alongside. Uh, he's not super happy. He hasn't killed anyone yet. No, he's killed one per Okay, he's killed one person. Maybe two now. Either way, not super impressive. We really need to get some... I, I like a, a Heart of Winter, though, would be ideal. However, we're now in the midst of settlements. Jarl Berndenson, a metal sorcerer. It's just re it's just reevaluating his life choices as being chased by a bear. Oh, 
he is not having a good time. Uh, we're getting shot by a tower. So Castron has 23 kills. Um, 22 of those being melee kills. So there we go. He's now getting shot to pieces by a tower. We do need to take it out. Oh, that, let's see. We're on a horseman coming in. This is fine because she's got a heart of winter in her. So we just wait for these boys to get in range. We can drop a heart of winter right there. And then boom. But army losses take effect before that happens. And the enemy fall back with their chieftain getting turned into a pincushion. We did lose a lot of armored cossars in this engagement on the hill. We've taken the settlement and pushed the Norskans back. That's the main thing. That was fine. A few losses, but nothing too major. Oh, we lost a unit. That's okay. My frozen kingdom That's okay. We've taken... Take a couple of these settlements. They've only got one left, which is under siege. You stand with we may actually be able to confederate these guys fairly soon. Now, we are at war with the ogres, but I don't think they actually have an army. So that's not going to be a major issue for us. Fort Jakov does need some defences, however, particularly because it's next to the uh, dwarves in the mountain over here. So we probably do want to defend that. I want to see if we can catch Throt in an ambush. If we can, all the better. And we've got one for you, one for you. So we'll pop one in here. Wait. Nope. Uh, what's this? Oh, yeah, because we've got a, thing a thingamajig. Who is it? Which one? This guy. Infantry or cavalry really doesn't bother me either way so i think they curse I th courses i don't know i don't know that guy we are both servants. You sure right now we're going to be busy for a couple of turns so i mean i i I think they should be able to take that. How many settlements do you have? Okay, you do have another one over here, so they could potentially come back. If we allow them to just take that, though, we could just get a, if we get a little bit of defences here. A little bit, you know, can we get public order or something? Uh, is there anything that gives us public order here? Ah, more control. Okay, if we do something like that and get defences, then that should be fine. We can send Katarin south. I don't even know if I want to summon snow leopards. I guess it's fine. All right, let's hang on. We 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 will we will never have any snow leopards in this army. Uh, snow leopards are garbage. A few people have have said, well, they're good at like killing wizards. To which I'm like, well, yeah, if they're undefended by themselves. I mean, basically, anything is good at killing wizards if they're undefended. You don't necessarily need a cat to do that. I guess the cat is fast, which is a slight benefit, but that's about the only thing I can think of. So, get up, York. Um... Now we can summon kitty cats, so we don't actually need any in the army. So that's the thing. Uh, Father Ted can be an icon of, of strength and wild-eyed. Have a sword of striking. And... Do, do I have an enchant? Um, what do we, okay, we've got two banners of Prague. I don't know why we need two banners of Prague. One is is too many. Can you equip that? Really? Are you immune to psychology anyway? Oh, you know what? It doesn't matter. Genuinely doesn't matter. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to send you south to go and pick up some new units at Kislev. Because here we can now recruit the Tsar Guards. So we oh, probably yeah. want to do that. We need to deal with Throt as well, but I'm hoping that maybe we can lure him into the ambush. Politically, we're guessing there. So we've invoking the motherlands, and we're doing buildings. So that's good. And I think you're getting. I think you get a set number each turn. 
So I think we'll, we'll basically beat them. It's, it's not really a problem there. Um, that'll be fine. I'm not particularly worried about beating Castalton and then getting the Shouty Man in our... Fa I don't know why I want the Shouty Man in our faction, to be honest. He's very shouty. I guess at least... At least Nordland always goes and attacks the Demon Prince. So that's... That's something. That's that's some small, sm some small comforts. Uh, perfect figure or vanguard deployment. Perfect figure because I genuinely don't know why you want to vanguard deploy a a wizard. That that's just a way of getting your wizard killed, in my opinion. So we won't do that. But maybe we can potentially confederate these guys. But I have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.